पुंडरीक नवद्वारम त्रिभिर्गुणेरावृत तस्मत्मत्थ्रह्म विदो विदु स्वा नमस्ते टू ऑल दिस इज अ वेरी वेरी ब्यूटिफुल अथर्वेद मंत्र टेन बै एट बै फोर्टी थ्री इनफैक्ट वेन एवर ऐ गो टू मै आचार्य जी आश्रम द पीपल हू आर रिसेडिंग देर इन द आश्रम they do every day morning early morning agnihotra at 5:30 6 o'clock and also in the evening 5 5:30 6 o'clock and when they do the agnihotra they they have added some extra mantras in the regular agnihotra and one of the mantra is this mantra and this is a really beautiful meaning almighty god explains the purpose of our human body and also almighty god explains who are those rishis very beautifully he has explained uh, described about the human body see almighty god says pundarikam navadwaram the human body is a media is a medium what medium pundarikam this is the medium to earn punya to to earn vedic pious to do vedic pious deeds punya karma for doing punya karma pundarikam navadwaram this human body is made and given to you which has got a nine dwars which has got nine holes if you see our human body there are two holes in the eyes two in the ears four then two in the nose six one in the mouth seven and one for the urination which is the hole in the front and one in the back for the excretion nine holes are given by almighty god or this body is made with the nine holes navadwaram and pundarikam these nine dwars these nine holes human body is given to you for doing punya karma so we must utilize this human body to do punya karma but how do we know what is punya karma what is pap karma nobody because for example if you go to some religions they say that killing the cow or killing the goat is auspicious deed they say that this is punya karma so but this is a ved mantra here almighty god says in the ved mantra pundarikam so we must ask almighty god in the vedas only what is punya punya karma what is papa karma if veda says that you cannot kill an other animal and consume its meat then it is if veda says we must obey it if we do not obey it then it's papa karma so this human body we must utilize to do punya karma pundarikam navadwaram and how this navadwaram is made almighty god says this human body is made by tribihi gune bihi any people have this question that how do you know there are only three gunas that exist you always speak about rajaguna tamaguna sataguna where it is mentioned about three gunas this mantra mentions about three gunas tribihi gune bihi this human body is made from the three gunas of prakriti rajagun tamagun satagun if i make a you know chair with wood the chair will have the properties of wood if i make a chair with steel the chair will have the property of the steel if i make the human body if almighty god makes the human body with three gunas the body also will have the three guna property so whatever is the property of prakriti will be seen in the human body that is the secret of this mantra and further god says avritam these three gunas are not visible externally nobody can say that by seeing this human body that oh your human body is made of three gunas can anybody say no avritam means these three gunas are inside the human body it is everywhere present inside the human body we cannot identify by seeing it but the human body behaves exactly as per the gunas of the prakriti whichever guna is like i made a video i think for three weeks back on A detailed explanation from manusmriti about three gunas please see that video each guna how it behaves what happens when sattva guna is more rajaguna is more tamaguna is more when rajaguna and tamaguna is less etc etc many combinations i have mentioned in that video please see that video if you have not seen that so here almighty god says that three guna is not visible evidently outside but your body i have made through the three gunas only that means god is giving a indication here that god does not do you magic to create the world god uses the prakriti to create the world and the human body and whatever is the guna of the prakriti is seen in the human body and further almighty god says tasmin yat atman atmanvat this tri guna is jada it is not chetan but what is chetan it is atma jeevatma is chetan 
सो दिस ह्यूमन बॉडी इस दिस शरीर दिस ह्यूमन बॉडी इस लिविंग प्लेस ऑफ द आत्मा इस द लिविंग प्लेस ऑफ जीव आत्मा बट देर इज समथिंग बियॉन्ड जीव आत्मा ऑल्सो इन सेट द ह्यूमन बॉडी बट यू कैनॉट सी इट इज आवृतम एवरीथिंग इज कवर्ड यू कैन जस्ट सी द बॉडी ओनली यू कैन सी द हाई आईज हैंड्स लेग्स एक्सेट्रा बट यू कैनॉट सी द गुणास यू कैनॉट सी द आत्मा यू कैन नॉट सी समथिंग विच इज बियॉन्ड आत्मा वॉट इज बियॉन्ड आत्मा इज आलमेटी गॉड सेज यक्षम दट इज बियॉन्ड आत्मा इज यक्षम इट इज परमात्मा एंड दिस परमात्मा गॉड सेज तत्वई ब्रह्म विद विदु हू नोज दट परमात्मा हू नोज दट द जीवात्मा इज देर एंड देन इन साइड द जीवात्मा देर इज परमात्मा इज देर हू नोज गॉड सेज इन दिस मंत्र ब्रह्म विद वन हू इज लर्न ऑफ वेदास लर्न ऑफ वेदास डज नॉट मीन दट आई हैव गॉन टू मार्केट आई हैव परचेस्ड फोर वेदास एंड आई हैव रेड द फुल वेदास नो लर्न ऑफ वेदास मीन्स वन हू हैज लिजेंड वेदास फ्रॉम आचार्य वन हू हैज सर्वड द आचार्य one who has done tapasya as per the vedas one who has worshiped almighty god as per vedas and after worshiping almighty god one who has realized vedas in samadhi so those people are brahma vidah brahma vidah viduhu they only know that there is a yaksham there is a ji paramatma inside the jeevatma they only know that this this human body behaves as per three gunas of prakriti they all they only know that you are not the human body they know that you are jeevatma and your body is separate your body is made of prakriti which is jad tatva but you are jeevatma and inside you there is paramatma so what the indication given by almighty god in this is this body is jad but use this body for pundarikam use this human body to earn pious vedic deeds if you do pious vedic deeds then you can attain moksha otherwise if you do deeds against the vedas then you can you will again and again go into the birth and death cycle this we must understand so every day we have to remember our purpose of the body is pundarikam pundarikam means punya kama punya karam let us always do vedic pious deeds by with this human body let us not do any anti vedic deeds and only an acharya who has realized almighty god yaksham the yaksham is almighty god who is present inside the jeevatma so let us go to that acharya who has realized that almighty god and learn about this human body and learn about the three guna and learn about the jeevatma learn about the paramatma learn about what is punya karma learn about what is papa karma what a beautiful mantra thank you so much namaste om